Let's talk about courage, because either you or someone you know could use a boost of it today. There's a fable about a hunter who encounters a woodcutter and asks, have you seen any mountain lion tracks around here? And the woodcutter says, as a matter of fact, I know right where the mountain lion lives. I can take you there. Surprised by this, the hunter says, oh no, I don't need to find the lion. I'm just looking for tracks. A lot of us are like this hunter. We're seeking something, but we're really afraid of catching it. In fact, courage is sometimes something that we try to live vicariously, and we can't do it by proxy. We have to have our own experiences, and courage is necessary to have those experiences. The ability to take action when we're afraid, the ability to carry on when it's not convenient, there, that requires courage. You see, if we take away the fear, if we take away the discomfort, courage would not be necessary. Courage comes in many varieties, and I'm going to lean into Corwin Connect, a professional learning space, and give you four prompts so you can engage some sort of courage right now. Test out some empathic courage. Acknowledge one of your biases and do something to move away from it. Intellectual courage, challenge an assumption. Discipline courage, stay steadfast. And moral courage, take a stand for something you believe in.